Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and the other day Apple added green screen support to iMovie for iOS, and I was just working on a review of a low-cost iPad here, and I thought it might be fun to show you how to use the feature because I had to poke around a little bit to figure it out. So let me show you uh, what that green screen thing is all about real quick right here on the Extras channel. So I've got iMovie loaded up. I have a still image here of a backyard that I'm just going to add to my timeline. And one of the cool things about iMovie on the iPad is that it will do one of these cool Ken Burns effects and kind of make the uh, scene move there as it goes through the timeline. And then I've got my daughter here dancing in front of a green screen. I shot this with my iPhone a little while ago. Um, the uh, lighting here is not ideal. And one of the things you want to make sure when you are doing green screen is that you have the green screen very evenly lit. But I was impressed with how well this is going to work, even with a poorly lit scene like this one. Uh, now what I'm going to do here is just tap on these little periods there, and you're going to see a couple of options. Uh, one here is green blue screen, and I'm going to tap on that real quick, and that's going to drop it down on top of our photo. And look at that, it almost immediately uh, cut her out. We do have some issues with shadowing and whatnot, and again, that's due to the fact that the, uh, the uh, lighting isn't so great, but we can make some adjustments and maybe make it a little bit better. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just tap on the video here, and you can see it lit up yellow. And if you look in the uh, upper right-hand corner of the video playback window, you've got uh, this little square icon. We're going to tap on that real quick. And when I start moving around some of these edges, uh, you can actually get rid of the portions of the video that were not green. So let's move that around a little bit. You can see it's all disappearing. This will be a little bit challenging depending on your subject because she's going to be moving around a lot, so she might move out of the frame. Uh, you can see that her feet were kind of cut off there, so I'm just going to try to get it a little bit more finely tuned. And then if I go back and play here, uh, you can see that it's looking a little bit better and we don't see a lot of the scene around her. Now you will see some shadowing going on behind her there. Again, that's hard to avoid if your lighting is poor like me. Um, but what you can do is find some spots that don't look so great. And if we go back on here and click on the settings uh, icon there, you can adjust the strength. But you've got to be careful because if you adjust too much, you start uh, losing part of your subject too. You can see her uh, stomach there is getting a little transparent. So if you have good lighting, I think you can really do well with this. And I'm impressed by how well this worked, uh, despite the fact that we're running on an iPad that I bought for 250 bucks at Walmart uh, with free software here with a really lousy mobile phone video with poor lighting. It's actually able to do a pretty passable job of green screen. And again, if we had more even lighting here, I think it would look even better. So pretty cool stuff here with the uh, iPad and the new version of iMovie. It's free. If you do an update, you will have green screen till, uh, too. Until next time, this is Lon Sybin, and thank you for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.